All right, it is spring, and every year, four years during Nicholas's great years, he started every year with his coach, Jack Grout, and they worked on the pre-swing fundamentals to get started. They wanted to make sure that they hadn't slipped to any bad habits. So that'd be, that is gonna be a great way for us to get started uh, this year, this spring. And so I wanna just go over the grip, posture, and maybe alignment. Grip and posture for sure. So with the grip, there's three functions that make up a good grip. And the first function is we get the club more in the fingers toward the base of the hand and this pad right here is on top of the club so you can take the pad and the finger and you can hinge the club up and down and so when you look at it this way you'll see two or three knuckles and now the first function of a good grip takes place the hinging of the club and this is a great drill to start your year. Just get a golf club, sit there and watch TV and hinge. Makes this forearm stronger. It makes sure that you've got that pad on top and you do it enough times, that's the way you'll always put it in this hand. Second function of a good grip is it's gonna help square the face. So our hands are somewhere in this ballpark. They're not like this and they're not like this. So we're not going to have that kind of a grip. We're not going to have that kind of grip. When our arms and hands are close to where, and not exactly, but close to where they hang, we end up with a neutral grip. So we get our left hand we just worked on, and then we bring our right hand up like a handshake. So shake hands with the leading edge. So not the top edge, the leading edge of the golf club right here. So the leading edge, hand equals leading edge. So not under, not on top, right on the side, slide it down. And you got the pinky on top, you got the forefinger, excuse me, the thumb fits in that groove. So now your hands are very neutral, not under, not on top, we're very much on the side with that right hand. And then you gotta figure out what to do with this forefinger and this thumb. Most people put the thumb on top, you do not want that. That leads to, makes it very easy to cast the club. So we're gonna take this finger, we're gonna create a hook with this right forefinger, and then we're gonna lay the thumb on the side. So what this does is the third function of a good grip, and that is where that club sits as you get toward the top of the swing. The thumb of the left hand, and then the forefinger of the right hand. Thumb, left, forefinger, right. This thumb's just laying off on the side. So now you bring that back and you've got the three functions of a good grip. Hinging, square in the face, support for the club. Another factor, once we get our grip on correctly, is grip pressure. So what I want you to do is I want you to kind of whirl the club around like this, and I want you to notice that you're not holding on real tight but you're not just holding on loose either. It's kind of, especially this hand, I'd call it firm. This hand's a little bit looser. So on a scale of one to 10, I think this one's about a four or five. This one's about a four. So grip pressure is also a factor, not just grip placement, but grip pressure. So now you've got the ability to swing. And then we want to bend over to the golf ball. So part of it is this way. When your right hand goes lower than your left, your body tilts just a little bit. So our spine's not quite straight up and down, it's a little bit this way. And then from, from this angle, we're not gonna bend at the waist because that makes me too rounded. We're not gonna bend a lot from the knees because that squats me too much and gets my weight back on my heels. Right here, there's the waist. Right down here is your hip joints, your hip sockets. So you're going to bend over from the hips. You'll stick your rear end out just a little bit. You'll bend over from the hips. And when you do that, you'll notice my, my upper body stays very similar. You know, it doesn't round differently this way or this way. Stays very similar. I've got that slight tilt this direction. And then I get pretty close. And then now I need just a little bit of knee flex. And then we call it passing the push test. 
is that if you were back on your heels and I gave you a push, you'd fall off balance. If you were up on your toes and I gave you a push, you'd fall off balance. So we bend from the hips, just a little bit of knee flex, and we think, can I athletically be pushed over? Am I athletically centered? So we get centered, and that's how you get good grip, that's how you get good posture, and that's how you get off to a good start in the spring, just like Jack Nicholas and Jack Grout did for years and years and years.